Hey guys, Mike here from Messi Entertainment. Just doing a quick overview video showing you uh, some features in UI Styles 4.0. So if you're interested in the asset, stay tuned and I'll show you exactly what it can do for you. So let's take this uh, scene, for example. We've got 50 text components in here. Uh, and let's just imagine that all these share the same properties. So in this case, I've created a style form calling it title. So we're just uh, imagining that you know this is our title style for our text component uh, and let's say we you know we've got these throughout our whole game they're in our projects prefabs are in other scenes uh, all of a sudden we want to change the color of it a lot of work involved well with UI styles it's just a click of a few buttons uh, and you can see you can just change all the properties on there we can add shadow outline I mean this is just a quick overview check out the other videos if you interested in the purchase uh, so let's check out some other scenes uh, like this one for example I've got a scene here with four and a half thousand text components in so let's just say we want to change the color to white uh, just apply that and you can see it's pretty instant so I mean it's just so such a time saver imagine all these components were buried in pre uh, containers and scroll views and input fields and you, you know you needed to get to the font on all of them just create them a style job done and note as well we've got styles for everything text images buttons input fields you can add custom ones as well so what I'm going to do quickly as well is I'm going to go back to my scene one so I've got five scenes here and they're all pretty much laid out the same as this one other than scene three that's got four and a half thousand components in just showing you there's no really any limit but let's just make them red and then go and update them in all scenes uh, I can just go to apply uh, this category in all scenes we'll get a loading bar at the top there uh, and you can see it's just uploading uh, changing all the values to uh, the new new properties in this case just red so you can see the tick boxes here as well so you can see that the only one here is ticked is the color so we're only going to control the color so you can see here we're done so we'll close that so what I'll do now quickly is create a new one show you how to do this uh, you can create categories up here I mean I'm not going to go into that right now um, check out the other videos if you're interested so let's create uh, an input field and let's say that we want, you know, change some values on here. It's not going to look very pretty, guys. I'm going for a, a shorter length video. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just say that's an input field and we want to create a style for that. The easiest way, grab the object, drag it in here. Uh, it's going to ask us if we want to include the rec transforms. I'm just going to say no. Uh, and here's our new style uh, and it's took all the values into consideration uh, note as well that drag and drops are a pretty cool feature we can just drag drag them here to update them or obviously uh, update them here um, yeah so let's say that this uh, uh, so we've got a find by name here let's just say that this is a username Uh, a style for the usernames rename it so this is our username input field um, let's change that color uh, notice as well that didn't update it and it's because the the object isn't assigned to any style yet so all we would need to do to get this input field assigned to a style is put this find by name in its name within brackets so it tells you right there what you should put but the best way to do it is highlight it drag them in there that'll put the name in there for you so that when we apply now the uh, they are assigned to the style and that red is doing us no favours so yeah, let's get rid of that so you can see we're updating them all at once um, and it's you know we don't just have to make an input field we can make anything really so what I'm going to do is give this uh, a custom component and we're going to say this is a tick and then um, so we've got uh, a tick with that now 
and you'd probably have a tick and a cross. So let's say we want, you know, we've got our image, our placeholder and our text. Uh, so let's drag in this this here. And then we'll also have an image for our tick. Uh, and then we drag the path in here also to get the path to it because it's not on the route that we're finding. I mean, watch other videos to know more about that. Uh, but yeah, so now we, we can uh, change the property on the tick as well. Note as well we have a colour palette, so this P next to any colour palette, and that's not just on this window, that's anywhere. If you click that P, you'll get a colour palette, and the colour palette is uh, colours that you've defined yourself. The, this actual one you're seeing here is a default that is included. Uh, so you can you can use that, you can add more like pastel colours and stuff, and you can come in here. Uh, and if I if I pick a colour from here, you'll notice now that the, the button's gone green and it says here that we're linked to palette. Uh, so that is actually linked to our colour palette. So if I go ahead and change that colour, uh, you'll see it's linked, so I change it. Alright, so we're going to wrap up just in a minute, just for the um, overview video, but I am going to show you a quick, quick example of runtime that is coming very soon. So you can see here, I can load some new data. So this is another. Uh, so here, in this way, I've got categories up here, and the categories are working as layouts. Uh, and what I can do is I can have a drop down here, and it gets the layouts. And then when I, from a click of a button, I can completely change the button layout or whole entire theme throughout the whole game if I wanted. Uh, so that's the feature that's coming soon. Um, it's, it's as good as done. I just want to add more examples, and uh, as it's as it is at the moment, um, uh, it's, it's using it's doing it the same way as the editor does. So the editor finds stuff. Well, that's finding it, and that's not not the best way to go about it at runtime. So I'm just doing a bit more work to it, and it'll be ready very soon. Um, yeah. So cheers for checking out UI Styles. Check out the other videos if you're interested further. And uh, hopefully I'll uh, see you soon.